Hi guys, in this episode I will show you how to build or export your game for Windows, how to modify or remove pre-game window, change quality settings, uh, game icon and splash screen. So, when you have finished your game in Unity, it's time to actually build it. Go to File, Build Settings. First, make sure that you have all scenes you want in the build. If you want to know more about scenes, check my scene management tutorials. Next, we want to choose Windows for target platform and for architecture we can choose between 32 or 64 bit. Let's go with uh, 64 bit. This stuff is for debugging, so we don't need it now. Let's click Build, choose Folder, change name and save it. After a few seconds or minutes, depending on your game and PC, you will have .exe file. For now, it has default icon. Let's double click it and by default, before game starts, pre-game window will appear. Here, player can change resolution and quality presets that are made inside Unity. We will see how to add custom presets and also how to add image to this window. In input settings, players can change game controls. Let's close window and go back to Unity. To add or remove quality presets, go to Edit, Project Settings, Quality. To remove Unity default settings, just click on Delete button. And to add preset, click Add Quality Level. Let's add one preset, rename it. These stuff are mostly for lighting and shadows. To increase quality, use hard and soft shadows with high or very high resolution. Increase pixel lighting count and basically turn on and increase everything. To decrease quality for older PCs, do vice versa. Let's use test preset as default one. To change default icon, go to Edit, Project Settings, Player, or to File, Build Settings, Player Settings. Here you can change company and product name, but we are interested in default icon. To change it, just drag and drop image you want to use. Under Icon section, you can use Override and add icon for all these resolutions. So depending on the PC, best resolution icon will be used. We will not use that for now. To add image to pre-game window, go to Splash Image section and add your image to application dialog. That will add this image. Under resolution and presentation section, we can choose that default is full screen and native resolution. This is for Windows, so uncheck Mac Retina support. If you want to Run your game in the background, select Run in Background. Down here you can choose Supported Aspect Ratios. I usually leave them all checked. Now let's build and see changes. First you can see that the icon has changed. Let's double click it. We have image in pre-game window and our test preset is default one, as we can see. If you don't want to use pre-game window, go to resolution and presentation. For display resolution dialog, select disabled. Now let's build and run. 
As you can see, there is no pre-game window, but we want to add some splash screen. In player settings, go to splash image, add one to the list. I will use Dual Core Studio logo and now just customize it. I will increase duration, change background color. You can add custom background image if you want and also you can have multiple logos. And the best part is you can use preview button to see changes you made. With a splash screen our game will start like this. That's it guys, all basic informations how to build a game are here. If I missed something please comment below. Also more tutorials coming soon so subscribe and turn on notifications. Thank you for watching.